I have always wanted to set up smart home motorized roller shades. It's like the poster child for any home automation setup. But unfortunately, I have these really nice louvered shutters on every single window in my house. If any of you know how to automate these things, please leave some suggestions in the comments below as it's one item I've never found a good home automation solution for. But with that, why don't we head outside today and we can look at some other options. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I set up these really cool outdoor motorized Zigbee smart home shades onto my backyard pergola. They're completely solar powered, they're connected with Home Assistant, and I've created some automations so that I can control them from Home Assistant, using my voice assistants, and even my watch. So this video, it's part one of my pergola renovations. Make sure you're subscribed, because I'm also working to add LED lighting to a track on the inside of this pergola. This is going to be a custom setup, complete with WLED and connected to Home Assistant as well. So listen, don't just sit there. This is the perfect time to hit that thumbs up if you're interested in this type of thing. Now, out here in the backyard, we used to have an umbrella to cover the furniture for hot days. The problem was if it rained even just a little bit, the party pretty much ended. I had to move indoors because, well, everything was soaking wet. This is fine if we're in the pool, but not so good for barbecues or just when we're hanging out. So we purchased this really cool pergola last year. It's great because just like my shutters, it has a louvered roof that opens up fully to let the sun in. But when we close it, it acts like a roof and it directs the rain off to the sides into some gutters and down these posts to the ground. When it does rain, we just close it, we hide underneath until the rain passes. So now everything's great, except we do still get mosquitoes from the cedars at night. Rain sometimes comes in from the sides. And once in a while, we just want to block out the sun a little bit so we can watch the game on the TV during the day. I tried to solve this once in the past with some off the shelf roller blinds from the big box store, but I couldn't get the exact size. So I had to rig up some custom mounting brackets, which to be honest, started falling apart almost immediately. Opening and closing those blinds, it was done with a manual crank. And listen, if I wanted that much of a workout, I'd just head to the gym. For the most part, we just left them open pretty much all of the time. Needless to say, we hated how they looked, and, well, let's just agree, they didn't work. Now, before I go ahead and show you how I installed these blinds, I need you to know, this is not a sponsored video. But Darlene at Smart Wings, she did send me the motorized outdoor roller shades to install. She was fantastic, and I'll admit I gave her a really hard time. I was not the best customer, but she was great. Helped me order them using the easy forms on their website, helped me fix some simple math mistakes I made without making too much fun of me, and overall, it was a super simple process to get these shades that fit perfectly. Even when I asked her if there was anything specific she wanted me to look at or talk about, she told me just make sure it was an honest review and a great install, and that the product was gonna speak for itself. And I think she's right. Oh, and as far as smart home automations go, you got options. I chose Zigbee because I think it gives me the most flexibility on how I wanted to set things up. You could also choose to just have a wireless remote control. You can pick Z-Wave, HomeKit over Thread, Matter over Thread, and I'm not sure why this one is different, but there's also an option if you just want to use Amazon Alexa. For me, I knew I could add Zigbee to pretty much anything and then extend it to HomeKit, Google, Alexa, etc. So that was my choice. Each option specifies what it's certified to work with, including Samsung SmartThings, Hubitat, Home Assistant, Google, Amazon, Apple HomeKit, and more. All right, you know what? Let's get this area all cleaned up and we'll get these installed. Get down. Yeah. So after we got everything cleaned up, I unpacked the blinds. Everything you need comes with them, including a template with double-sided tape on the back. You simply stick this thing up and it's gonna give you a nice straight line to install the brackets onto. All of the screws, plugs, brackets, guide wires, remote controls, chargers, and solar panels, they were all included with my order. There are a couple books, one for installing the blinds themselves, one for remote control setup, and another one for smart home setup. They're all well written and illustrated, so even without this video, you're going to be able to figure it out easily. The only tools I needed to use was a Phillips screwdriver. I chose to use a power drill, 
and a drill bit for some pilot holes into the aluminum. I am going to install two roller shades on each side of the pergola. The maximum width of a shade is 109 inches and they can be up to 140 inches in height. Now I needed about 140 inches in width so for this reason I went with two separate shades. I actually like this since it gives us the options of which section we want open or closed, especially on the one end which is open to the rest of the backyard. Now each blind has three brackets, one that goes on each end and the other one goes in the middle. There's no real exact position other than you need to leave a few inches at either end and you need to get as close to the middle with that one as you can. I left about two or three inches at each end just to be safe. And of course these can be installed in a number of different ways directly onto a wall or hanging from the top like I did here. Oh, and let's talk power for a second. The motors, they come with a built-in battery. You can power them directly with mains if that's what you want to do, or you can use a small solar panel like I'm going to do. If you go with solar, it's recommended that you charge these completely at first to give them a head start. After that first charge, as long as the solar panels are getting sun, they should be able to keep things going without any power. And it's nice because the battery level, it's reported and it's monitored in Home Assistant as well as other smart home apps. So you can always create an automation to let you know if one of them does happen to go low on power. Now, because my pergola is aluminum, I needed to pre-drill some holes for the screws. I went with the smallest drill bit I had and I actually ended up breaking a couple of drill bits in the process, but that was my fault, of course, not the blinds. Once I finally got all the holes drilled, it was really easy to put two screws into each bracket and secure them to the pergola. The only thing you need to be aware of is each bracket has a little spring-loaded release or tab on them. This is how you're going to go ahead and remove the roller shade in the future if you ever need to. So when you put them up, you want to make sure that the release tab and all three brackets face the same direction. When installing the blind, you hook the back side of the brackets into the track on the blind. And then you just push the front up until you hear a click, indicating that the release button is locked into position. That's it. This one here, it's done. It's installed. And if you do want to take it down for some reason, it's really easy. Just push that little release tab and the brackets let go. The second one, it went up even faster now that I had the hang of it. I mounted the three brackets and just clicked it into position. The straight line on that template is what really makes sure these all line up perfectly. And listen, on top of the Zigbee, or whatever smart home protocol you choose, they all come with a regular remote control as well. This can be used for manual setup or adjustments, such as programming speed, adjusting the start and stop positions of the blinds, which most of this is done at the factory for you, but you can customize as you like to get yourself the perfect setup. You could choose to have a remote for each blind, or you can have up to 15 channels, and that means 15 blinds on one single remote. Now the final step in each blind setup is guide wires. Now you don't need these, but they do make sure that the blind stays put. And I'm going to use them on the one end of the pergola to secure them so that they don't blow around in the wind. And it makes the blind sit perfectly. Also, it helps them look nice in my opinion to see them all nice and aligned. Again, this took a few minutes to figure out the first one, but once I had the idea, it was pretty simple. Just attach the bracket as low as you can, Make sure you leave a little bit of room at the bottom to feed the cable through and tighten the bolt. The bracket itself can be secured to a vertical surface, the posts in my situation, or to the floor itself if you were on a deck or porch or even a railing. Now to address the middle, I needed to get a little bit creative. All I have here is soil. So I just cut a wood spike. I drove that into the ground and I attached the brackets to it. With all four brackets installed, I tested the motors, and again, everything worked perfectly. I really like this setup. It's going to be really easy to automatically have these close at night. It's going to help keep the mosquitoes out, and it's going to turn this into a nice, cozy area for watching movies now and well into the fall. So adding the blinds to Home Assistant, it was super easy. You're going to head into Settings, Devices and Services, and go under Zigbee. You're going to click Add Device to start a search for new devices. And on each blind, there's a little programming button. There's a number of things that you can do with this button, anything from entering programming mode to factory resetting. For the smart home automation, and in my case, Zigbee setup, you just hold it for six Mississippis, and the little LED on the blind starts to flash red. Almost immediately, Home Assistant will identify a new device, and it'll start the typical Zigbee interview process. Once this is completed, you can give it a name, 
can add it to a location, and you just move on to the next blind. I actually did all this setup after they were all installed, and it took me all of 10 minutes to get them added. I'll show you more how this works in a bit. Now, installing the other two at the other end, it was even easier. Honestly, it took me about 30 minutes to complete. I put up the templates, drilled the holes. Of course, I broke a few more drill bits, but we were off. The blinds were up. Now, the final step was to get those solar panels installed. This is super easy. They come with about a two-foot cable with a waterproof locking mechanism. You just plug it into the blinds, and you screw the lock shut. You find a place where you can mount the panels, and on the back they have double-sided tape, which I chose to use. But if you'd rather, there's also two mounting holes and provided screws. This might be good if you have an uneven or a wood surface, or if you're just looking for a stronger hold. I figured I'm going to start with the tape, and we'll see what happens. Also, when you order your blinds, you can get extension cords for the solar panels. If you think that you want to put your panels further so that you get better access to the sun, you can just plan for this, and the, I believe the extension cords were about 79 inches long. That's pretty much it for the install. The rest of my time was creating a custom dashboard card and setting up some automations. For us, we like the back shades open during the day, and we close them at sunset. For the front ones, we're going to manage them manually using Google and Amazon voice assistants for the most part. You can choose to open the blinds up fully, you can close them completely, or you can request a absolute percentage of openness. Using the percentage option is actually really accurate, and it's the easiest way to get them to match levels exactly. It's really satisfying to watch how the motor moves the blinds nice and fast, and then slows down at the very last second to get that perfect alignment. Because I'm using Home Assistant, I was also able to extend these out to HomeKit, and I can control them using Siri on my Apple Watch, or from my phone as well. You can also create groups, allowing you to control them all at once. I went ahead and created a group for the front, one for the back, and one group that controls all four. Finally, I already have presence detection in the backyard here. So I created an automation that'll close the blinds in the event that we're not out and it's supposed to rain. Just with the idea it's gonna help and keep that couch dry. I've also created an automation though that will open them back up in really high winds or forecast just to make sure that the blinds don't get damaged. Still, overall, everyone who's seen them loves them, both the way they look, the fact that they're super high quality, and hopefully they're just gonna last us a long time. And of course, they love the automation. It's just one more party trick when it comes to smart home automation, and this time, it's in the backyard. Listen, big thanks to Darlene and Smart Wings for sending me these smart motorized blinds. All the links, they're in the description below. And these links, they're affiliate, so if you do decide to buy using them, you help this channel out. But it doesn't cost you anything additional. In fact, it could lead to some really big discounts as Smart Wings, they're heading into their anniversary campaign. It starts August 9th. So if you're watching this in the future and you missed that, well, I'll update the description below with any future discounts. Let me know if you have any questions, if I missed anything or I can help in any way. Join me over on Discord for more discussions, and if you're really looking to help this channel grow, check out our membership options. Don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, I'm working on that LED project for the pergola that should be out soon, and if you're a member of the channel, you get access as soon as it's uploaded. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this one, and, of course, I hope to see you in the next one.